Thank you. Whoa, that's a big light. <laughs> These empty seats are worrying me a little bit, but then I have a balcony, which is super cool. I've not had that before. Uh, hi, everyone. So um, in the last two years, you've probably heard about the REST API. You, I mean, unless you've been living under a rock. Um, and uh, all the amazing opportunity it provides for WordPress projects and how it is the future of WordPress and all that jazz. You know, and uh, the REST API was a much needed breath of fresh air for our favorite CMS. That is looking a little bit like this right now, trying to kind of handle all sorts of different tasks, you know, and failing, unfortunately, quite a bit of them, like performance, security, scale, you know. So let's look at WordPress as if it was a living, breathing event organizer. I do a little bit of event organizing myself, so kind of help me relate. Uh, right now, it invites like thousands of people to party, thousands, let's say millions, right? And uh, it expects to do everything itself, right? It expects to create thousands of pieces of content and also deliver them immediately. You know, uh, catering is something that it cares deeply about. But also, it has to run, run everything on the back end, you know, have like food delivery, drinks, lights, furniture, support on the back end, and uh, cleaning as well, all the while ensuring that there are not unwanted guests at the party and looking fabulous, you know, being super trendy, being very, very modern and being everyone's personal guide, you know, it has to kind of show all the guests around. And even though it has PhD these days, some people are still expecting it to behave as if it was in kindergarten, you know? And it kind of has to be nice to them as well. So if I was that event organizer, I would be on the verge of a breakdown, kind of um, burnt out and and a serious need of some help. So, how should we make WordPress feel less exhausted all the time? REST API to the rescue. <laughs> uh, the REST API will help WordPress learn to delegate, you know, and kind of concentrate on what it does best, provide a very, very amazing uh, backend for authors and writers to create content all the while giving other new stars a chance to kind of present that content. And, uh, you know, those are all the cool kids developers like to play with. But as any growth process, introducing the REST API to WordPress projects comes with some challenges. And uh, most of them are not necessarily related to code. Like, the fact that with a REST API project, you might lose some of the WordPress core functionality. And uh, there is special effort that has to be made for those um, kind of pieces of functionality to be brought back to a project. Basically like the appearance settings, because the REST with the REST API, you kind of decouple the front end from the back end. So all the appearance settings might disappear everything that people are used to using, you know, setting up menus, kind of editing links, previewing posts. And uh, as you can imagine, this can be a problem for a lot of people because a lot of people use WordPress not just by coding, you know. The good thing about WordPress is that it comes with certain expectations from a lot of people. The chances of your clients or PMs expecting WordPress to behave in a specific way are about 100%, you know? The chances of them being able to edit menus or customize the theme with a little bit of CSS or change the theme as they want to or preview or do all, all sorts of things like that. And, um, and maybe a lot of them have already done that and they will expect to be able to do it with the project you're building for them. And here comes a story. This is me and uh, my friend and colleague, Siobhan. Uh, 
And um, we're WordPress contributors, but also event organizers. Among other conferences that we have organized, we recently threw a conference called A Day of Rest, which is solely dedicated to the WordPress REST API. We've already done twi two of those, actually, one in London and one in Boston uh, in 2016 and 2017. And uh, a little backstory about us. Siobhan is a writer. If you don't know who she is, she literally wrote the book on WordPress. If you haven't read it, do it, because it's really fascinating. But Siobhan is probably the author that knows more about WordPress core, core functionality and history than any other author alive. As for me, uh, I came to IT from marketing in 2011. After five years of like working in a uh, <laughs> digital department, telling developers what to do and having zero idea of how they're going to do it. Like, I was one of those PMs that came from marketing that didn't know what they were talking about. Which is like, I want this to look that way and that to look that, that way, you know, basically all the things you hate. Um, but still, you know, in 2011, I, f I discovered WordPress and all of a sudden my life changed because I didn't need a developer to create a website anymore. And it was so awesome. You know, I didn't need anyone to be able to kind of put a site together in like a day and a half. It was really, really good. But it changed <laughs> because this happened. I realized the irony of uh, the story about how we built the first website for a day of rest. Um, but it, is, it illustrates perfectly what happens when you as developers don't communicate what's going to change when you use the REST API on a WordPress project. Um, and here's what happened. Me and Siobhan are site builders. We do a little bit more than just create content with WordPress. We know how to tweak teams. We know a little bit of PHP. We know, we know a little bit of CSS. So when we had to build the first uh, website for a day of rest, because everyone at Human Made is so, so busy, um, there were no developers available. And we were like, OK, we want to announce this event, so we are going to build this website on our own, using a theme, using some plugins, tweaking a little bit the design, you know, just implementing the colors. We had a good designer that kind of recommended a couple of things to us. And yeah, in two days, we had a site. But it wasn't great for several, re several reasons. The first of which was that we were throwing a conference about using the REST API, and our own website wasn't using the REST API. And Twitter kind of had comments about that. You know, developers like to kind of mock. And it was enough for our own developers to be like, hey, all right, we'll rebuild it. And for me, that meant that, OK, if our developers thought that Twitter had arguments enough to rebuild this website, awesome. For me, that meant I could go back to market my event. You know, the website will be rebuilt. Twitter will shut up. <laughs> and I will be happily, you know, kind of, I will happily go back to uh, what I had to do to kind of throw a good event. So Joe, who is on that slide behind, who is our CTO, our uh, cleverest developer, and also is one of the core contributors to the REST API project, he re rebuilt the site, built a REST API uh, React team, React, uh, and. Uh, and launched the site in like two and a half days using the content that we already had on the previous website. And uh, when he did that, he, uh, the site looked probably like the same, you know? And it had an uh, awesome little kind of widget at the bottom showing developers the uh, REST API requests that were made at that moment. Um, and everything was, everything seemed really, really good. And um, the team was open sourced, you know, as it's supposed to be. And Joe wrote a post saying, this is how we did it, this is why we did it. Oh, and by the way, this is what is missing from, you know, this functionality compared to, you know, a website that you just build solely on WordPress. <laughs> and this is how Siobhan and I, who were kind of, supposed to be managing the content, found out that overnight, we couldn't edit menus anymore. We couldn't add links to pages that weren't using the modular page builder. Couldn't add sponsors to the website. We had to wait days for somebody to make a change, you know? And each small change required a developer 
with enough JavaScript REST API knowledge. I, I don't know if I have to mention my reaction. I mean, I didn't really have many words, because like, we're a remote company, so we primarily use Slack. So this is what my reactions in those days and like discovering all these things were. Um, you know, for years, when it came to WordPress, I've been able to figure something out you know, tweak here and there <laughs> until this. <laughs> this time, my, my hands were tied. And for the first time since 2007, I was back to the sorry, miserable state of needing a developer to make a change on a website. Siobhan, as an accomplished author, she was a little bit more eloquent. And um, <laughs> in a... Uh, in a company, in a WordPress company that consisted of 90% developers at that point, uh, we, we had become kind of the involuntarily uh, victims of the miscommunication about what would happen when we launched this cool new feature. So going back to that particular challenge, just a sound advice. If you're developing and working on a REST API project, make sure your clients and your non-developers are aware of what you're proposing to do with the functionality. And even if your clients are asking for the REST API on a project, make sure that they realize what they will be losing from the WordPress core functionality if you build them full, uh, if, if you build and decide that the way they want it and don't rebuild those features additionally. Because that's also budget, you know. So uh, don't let them believe that just because it's WordPress, it's going to have everything that comes out of the box right now. Otherwise, <laughs> you know, make sure your PMs know that as well. Otherwise, they will end up trolling you on stage for, you know, ages, like I do for the fourth time with Joe, I believe, telling this story. <laughs> so uh, think about some of the things that you take for granted on a project. Because let's face it, you know, the developers working with the REST API, a lot of them might be in this room today. You guys, you're, you're the rock stars of WordPress, the coding, developing rock stars, you know, using the modern technologies and all that. But, uh, and you don't, you might not even remember what the, the WP admin looks like because, you know, it's command line or a bust. You know, you don't even go to the admin. <laughs> no? Why? Why would you? But it all comes down to this. Um, be kind to the people you work with, and don't teach them to swim by throwing them in the ocean. Help them understand what you guys are building together, because you are building it together. <laughs> you can start by giving clients and PMs this to read. This is a very comprehensive guide to the REST API that uh, Siobhan wrote with uh, Ryan and Joe, a couple of other people from the REST API team. Uh, and it's a very good start. <laughs> 